Hello friends, this is the second class of the glucose metabolism and uh, here if you have watched my earlier video on the glycolysis, uh, there the glucose had produced one molecule of glucose had produced two molecule of pyruvate. Now this pyruvate with the help of this pyruvate dehydrogenous complex enzyme produces acetyl CoA and the carbon dioxide and it also produces NADH plus H plus as the byproduct of this enzyme. Here this is the structure of the pyruvate and this is the enzyme complex. There are three enzymes uh, which that is why we are saying that this is the pyruvate dehydrogenous complex. And this pyruvate actually produces uh, acetyl CoA with the help of this coenzyme A and this NAD plus uh, is present as a cofactor along with this enzyme. Now let us go to the mechanism. This is uh, the structure of the pyruvate with two carbon sorry with the 3 carbon and in the first reaction this enzyme 1 and its name is pyruvate dehydrogenase this enzyme actually binds this thiamine pyruphosphate which is which acts as a cofactor along with this E1 enzyme with the pyruvate this thiamine pyrophosphate is nothing but vitamin B1. Now, this is the structure in which this pyruvate is bonded with the thiamine pyrophosphate. Now, the second enzyme comes into place. This is lipoyl transacetylase. The lipoyl acid and the coenzyme A act as the cofactor and this structure where this thiamine pyrophosphate and the pyruvate now goes under a second step of the reaction regulated by the E2 enzyme where it leaves the thiamine pyrophosphate and it joins the lipoyl acid. Now the another reactant coenzyme A comes into play and it replaces this lipoyl acid and it forms here this acetyl CoA and this lipoyl acid now get oxidized further and this is the lipoyl acid oxidized form and now it is again ready for the for the further reaction this is a complete cycle and how it gets oxidized because FAD this cofactor which remains bind, bound to the enzyme E3 and this E3 is the lipoyl dehydrogenase enzyme basically it takes away the hydrogen from the lipoyl acid and the cofactors here FAD plus and NAD plus actually becomes the carrier of this hydrogen atom taken away from the lipoyl acid by the enzyme E3. Here this FAD becomes reduced and produces FADH2. Now NAD plus again comes into play and it takes the hydrogen from the FADH2 and again reoxidize it in it in FAD so that it again can take part in this reaction whereas this NAD plus becomes reduced and produces NADH plus H plus this NADH plus H plus again straight away go to the electron transport chain and uh, into the mitochondria where it produces ATP. Now you should also know certain things like this enzyme E1 has some regulatory factors. E1 is negatively regulated by NADH 
plus H plus and the acetyl CoA. I believe that as NADH plus H plus and the acetyl CoA are the product of this complicated reaction mechanism. So, the product gives a negative feedback to the reaction mechanism means this pyruvate enzyme which actually positively influences the enzyme uh, positively influences the reaction to go on and produces more and, and to produce more acetyl CoA and, and, and reduced NAD plus this product then again give the feedback on this enzymes uh, give, give a negative feedback on this enzyme to keep a regulation on this process. Now, the second one this dehydro di 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 dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase, it is also inhibited by the acetyl CoA with the same reason and it is it gets a positive impetus by coenzyme A. Basically, coenzyme A is a reactant, so the more the coenzyme A, the E2 enzyme has the has got its probability, I mean, ha has a chance to produce more acetyl CoA. So, whereas this CoA gives a positive impetus on the N on this E2 enzyme to push this reaction in the product towards the production of the acetyl CoA. This acetyl CoA again gives a negative feedback on this enzyme. Now, the third one that is dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase, it gets inhibited again by this NADH and activated by the NAD+. That means this E3 enzyme where NAD+, marks works as the uh, reactant. So, the more the reactant present, the, the reaction has a tendency to run forward and when there are sufficient amount of NADH plus H plus present, then this product gives a negative feedback on the enzyme E3. So, the, the enzyme gets inhibited by its own product and this is the process that in each and every metabolic pathway there is a positive and a negative regulatory factors are present so that we this metabolism pathway goes under goes I mean it, it takes place under a very tight regulation. So I guess this video on the production of the acetyl CoA was useful for you and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.